Hey everyone, welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a 39 FLTH Forest River Riverstone toy hauler. This is a front living room model with a garage in the back. We'll take a few minutes, walk you around the inside, and then we'll head to the outside. Uh, again, front living room model here. This unit, we are looking at the upstairs section here. We have a nice big fireplace sound bar dvd stereo system big sony flat screen tv there both sofas will make into beds so you could sleep four people up here if needed nice big heavy duty wood frameworking around the windows dual pane glass windows standard on the riverstone day night roller shades on those windows also all led lights uh, the Riverstone is a wide body camper, so it is about six inches wider than many other brands on the market. Also, Riverstone is full aluminum studded construction, uh, nice high gloss gel coated fiberglass exterior or paint job, depending on the way you order it. The sidewalls on the Riverstone are three and a quarter inches thick, much nicer setup. Uh, for the full-time RVer, so you got better insulation properties in your walls and also sound deadening. This TV does actually go down. There's a button down here you push, and we'll drop this down here real quick so you can kind of see it. But behind this window is a, or behind this TV is a window. So when the TV goes down, there is a window that looks out over the front of the fifth wall and you have some roller shades back in there too don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are interested in checking out more of my videos been trying to update a lot of these new model RVs as they come in Ceiling fan there, solid surface countertops, undermount stainless sink, high-rise pull-out sprayer faucet there. Uh, traditional dinette chairs, there's two, and then there's also two folding chairs that are available as an option if you need the extra chairs. This unit was ordered with the dishwasher feature too, so that is a slide-out dishwasher built in there. got a really nice Furion oven down there, three burner stove top that is propane. Um, you can order them with the induction stove top also if you'd rather have that. Convection microwave. This is the Danville wood decor that this unit was ordered in. And the Greystone furniture. So they have a darker wood and a darker furniture option when ordering the camper. There's also two uh, floors available when you order the camper. This is the tile style looking floor. There's also a wood looking floor too. When you come up into the coach, there is a little coat closet area here. Electric box, the central vacuum, and the dustpan vac are down there. These open up here. Heavy duty magnetic catches there. Also has the soft touch close cabinet doors and soft touch closing drawers. Again, one of the nice upgrades here. Um, all real stained solid wood right here. A lot of brands, this is a fake lumber core wood with a veneer paper wrap. So this is a nice upgrade here to be actual stained wood. Some of your control panels here, this was ordered generator prep, so you got generator controls. Uh, you've got your uh, My RV control system here. This controls slides, monitor panels, uh, landing gear, lighting, all kinds of goodies right here. Uh, ceiling fan light, some other items up there. He 
even have the dimmer switches on a couple of the uh, settings in the camper. Wood steps going up into the bathroom slash bedroom area back there. Does have a little built-in drawer there. This particular unit was ordered with three ACs. And they are the upgraded Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System. And you can see the returns, basically one on each side. So you don't see the big square in the middle of the uh, ceiling up there. That's real loud and annoying. Uh, so a lot better air conditioning system on sound. Nice handbar going up there. Window in the hallway. a look here into the bathroom area You've got the nicer oblong toilet with the foot flush it is porcelain in floor ducted heat and air is ducted through the ceiling this was also ordered with the heat pump feature so you have an electric heater in the main air conditioner if it's nice enough out to just use that uh, if it gets too cold you got to switch over to the propane furnace system nice backlit mirror Solid surface uh, countertops in your bathroom. Three drawers plus some storage space there. One piece fiberglass shower with the seat. Nice heavy duty swinging door also for the bathroom. It's not a faker lumber core style wood. Back here you have a in between king slash queen bed um, this is what they call a king it is actually 66 inches wide so it's six inches wider than a house queen but it's not as big as a real house king um, this fits real well back here giving you room to maneuver around both sides of the bed you've got cabinetry across the uh, headboard area up here Pretty good size headboard down there so you can put things like your alarm clocks and drinks and stuff above your head there. Electric outlets on both sides of the bed. That's important if you're a CPAP machine user. Uh, they also have the USB charger ports over there. Nice big window overlooking your campsite there. Uh, they also went to a soft valance over there. A lot of people were kind of complaining when they get out of bed. Uh, and if they were half asleep, they'd bump into that in the middle of the night. When it was a hard valance, it kind of hurt a little more. Uh, electric fireplace in here. You have some drawer space down there. TV. And this cabinet right here will slide this over. That actually slides over. And you've got your washer dryer in there. Maneuver ourselves back around here. And there was also a slide out here on this side of the bed. I kind of skipped a little past that there. But uh, you do have your closet and a couple more drawers here. And there's four small drawers down there. Closet space has lights in it. Hanging bars. All right, we're going to go out to the outside here in just a minute. Uh, again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in checking out more of my videos and keeping up to date with some of these new features. If you're interested in purchasing this RV or one like it on my website here, please feel free to give me a call. I'll be glad to go over the RVs with you. We're one of the biggest internet wholesale dealers in the country. Toll-free number 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. Again, Ray with Couches RV Nation. All right, we are now on the outside of this brand new 2019 and a half 
Forest River Riverstone 39 FLTH. I'm going to walk around the outside of this beautiful unit here. Now, this one was ordered in the standard exterior. Again, you have four paint colors that are available if you wanted to order one in painted exterior. Here you can see this is basically underneath of that bed in the uh, back section of the coach when we were inside there. This is a small garage area. You can load a golf cart, something similar to that one over there if you'd like. Um, and this bed does raise up and down. There is a push button on the side over here that takes this bed up and down. Also some motion lights. You can kind of see them popping on as we walked up in here. There are some motion lights. I am going to kind of raise this up here a little bit so you can see how this works. But this is on an electric motor system. So you just push a button and it goes up and down. Stand back a little bit here so you can kind of see. So plenty of room for a good golf cart, a motorcycle of some sort, four-wheelers, whatever you kind of prefer. This one was ordered with the backup camera and actually I ordered this with the four camera prep system. So this has a backup camera on it and then you're going to have two side cameras and one over the entry door. It's pretty cool. You can see down both sides driving down the road plus the rear. And also when you're in the campground, it's kind of nice. You can take that little monitor out. There's an extra electric adapter you can purchase from Furion and plug it into the coach and use that as kind of an outside security camera system for when you're camping. Uh, so you can see all the way, you know, pretty much around your coach except for the front nose. But this one does have the windshield in the front, so it's kind of cool. You can see out that way somewhat. Um, ordered also with the slide out awning covers. You can see those up there. You have storage on the sides of the coach here. Little motion lights are turning on. In this back corner is where your power cord reel actually is. It is a powered power cord reel. So you just push a button and it rolls up. Hydraulic automatic leveling jack system on the coach, six point. Hydraulics are faster and stronger than the electric versions you'll find on some lesser brands. Triple axle. This comes standard with Westlake tires. If you order the traveler's package, which is the paint job, you also will upgrade to Goodyear tires. The disc brake feature is also on all six axles. So you have disc brakes on all three axles, six tires. Um, big pass-through storage going across this section here. Docking station area here has your a uh, couple of your dump valves, low point water drains, black tank flushes, winterizing valves, outside showers, cable and satellite hookups all located right there. Unit comes standard with the uh, Truma AquaGo on demand water heater. This is a nice feature if you like to take longer showers. That way you don't run out of hot water as quick as a tanked water heater. The uh, little black thing up there on the right is the dryer vent. So it vents out this side. That one up there is the stove exhaust vent. You can see your spare tire mounted down below there. The dump hose holder and the dump tank area right there in front of the axle. Uh, down below is also a low point water drain for the fresh water tank. You probably can't see it. I'm a little far away from that, but that is where it's located underneath of there. Uh, furnace exhaust out right there. Nice frameless windows. Again, dual pane glass windows giving you a little better insulation property and sound deadening property. 
Another big storage compartment here going across this camper. The inverter right here for the refrigerator. Also the battery disconnect there. There is a light switch here and the jack button for the front jacks right there. And another little thing that's kind of hidden. The floor raises up right here and your hydraulic reservoir for your um, slides, some of your slides, and your uh, auto level system. Slam lock baggage door again. Battery compartment right here. Uh, the unit has a solar panel on it that is part of the ultimate electronic package now. So solar panel already on the roof, 160 watt. They have a couple more plugins up there where you could plug in a couple more. They actually offer a couple more as an option if you wanted to order it that way. Room for four batteries, but it does come again, one battery from the factory. Um, also the solar panel standard right now. Some info on the coach here. This right here is your axles, three 7,000 pound axles. Gross vehicle weight, 21,000 pounds. Tires are 215.75R, 17 and a half H rated tires. Um, says here 123 PSI, just some basic information on the coach. New front end for the Riverstone. Um, this is the new cap. You're going to start seeing this rolling out on many of the new models now. Uh, again, this one has the windshield. It's a little hard to see here. Uh, kind of close and tight up front here. But uh, LED lights across there. Optional trail air hitch pin box right there. Hydraulic reservoir. I'm sorry. Uh, brake fluid reservoir there for your brakes, disc brakes again, so it's got to have fluid. That is down there on the right. Pre-ordered with the generator prep. So it's boxed out and wired for a generator if you wanted to actually add a generator to the coach. Factory will also do that at the factory if you want, but I did not choose to do that on this particular model. Really, really nice finish and look to this. High gloss gel coating. Um, here on the side, you can see one of the side cameras right here. Down below is a gas hookup. If you wanted to do a portable grill or something. The other side of the storage compartment here you can see your central vac area there, electric outlet there, light switch there. Behind here, two 30-pound propane tanks. Room to upgrade to 40s if you want. Try to stand back here a little bit. Let's look down this side again. Sorry, we're kind of tight here. Um, you have the Upgraded step that is also part of one of the packages now for this door um, You could still get the old step on some models if you want to order it that way But the new fold down step is standard now Keyless entry door lock going into the coach awning LED light strips power adjustable Get back here some so you can see a little bit here. Two awnings on the coach. We ordered this with the optional 50 inch flat screen TV back there on the side. That does swing out, has a little sound bar there. Uh, midship turn signals. Again, triple axle, got a little storage there. Again, thanks for checking out my videos. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with the videos. CouchesRVNation.com. Check us out.